Yes, guys, what's up? It's Pessy here. Quick deck intro for this. Rain Dead Auto just caught a massive buff, which is a huge buff to the Swarm Archetype. I posted a video last month on this deck, and honestly, it performed really damn well. Visigard also got a little bit of armor, so we wanted to try out Uprising as a new ability. Unfortunately, Uprising actually has less provisions than Inspired Zeal, and you don't get to use probably the best card in NR right now, which is Raphard's Vengeance in Uprising, whereas Inspired Zeal you do. Added to that, while Visigard got a little bit more armor, not being able to get that instant Visigard like the old formation is a real downer because a lot of the time you just need to clean up. You want to play Visigard and just instantly clean up those threats, those engines. Um, otherwise, he can just feel really awkward and clunky. He's going to get removed even with his armor by things like Kyalma, etc. So by removing this ADC, putting in a Vengeance, you can actually just play the exact same deck with a better leader. So Inspired Zeal is the leader of choice for this one. We've tested both. I'm going to be showing you gameplay with the Inspired Zeal leader. But if you would like to see me uh, at any of the games with the Uprising list, just out of interest, I did play a couple of games. I can also post that. So if you'd like to see those games, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed and please do like the video if you enjoy it for the intro. But yeah, enjoy the gameplay, guys. Whatever, man. It's got to be done. Got provision there, bro. Yeah, they think in particular interest. Alright. Up against overwhelming hunger, we're going first. We've lots of good cards in hand, so we do need to be careful about what we do. BFIs. One side one's fine. This is usually this is probably just a good card of TA anyway, to be fair, right? Thinking about it. I like the rev in the pool. Ditch safe. I think a ditch. This just plays around Manticore so well. I mean. I actually had this discussion with Shumiri yesterday during my stream. I kind of made the same comment that the others need love. I still sort of stand by it, but Inspired Zero is just significantly better than the others because of all the support cards they have. Even just Visigard still just means like Swarm and Nara is just going to be better with this leader, I think, every time. I mean, a big part of that is because of how good this card is as well, right? Let's be fair. Not all dragons oh, Zubby Doo, what's up, my friend? I really appreciate the sub, mate. Well, lad. Eight months, thank you, mate. You're a bloody diamond. Love you, mate. Thank you. So we could we could have uh, tried to hold this TA for the land snack. Just take this line. Little scary. I mean, you could also use Zeal on this route. What do we do here? Back to the dust once again. Let's play this boy. Hey, JH Steel Salt, my friend. Probably going to jam some weekend league. Today. You get mad. Oh, bloody Norris, fine. Alright. I guess we'll just go reinforcements on the PFO. Red Salah. Nah, I didn't finish games. I, I didn't play many at all, mate. I got Ndombele red and some French Donny red as well, though. I actually unfollowed Sadiq Khan, who's the mayor of London, because he posted a picture with Salah and hashtag you'll never walk alone. I just unfollowed him, mate. Honestly, this Sabrina is not getting too much better, right?
Hey Antoine, doing well, thanks mate. Yeah, we're not, I'm not planning on playing the Adali though. I wasn't expecting it to be Vi. Oh, bollocks. Is that Draug? No, no, it's... Hey. Uh, I don't think it's fine, whatever. It means I'm winning the round, bro. Right? That's for sure. But to be honest, I think I was winning the round anyway. I always think that's a donation, mate, whenever I hear that. Uh, do we need a charger? Probably. Eh, do we really need to? We're so far ahead, right? Charger. Nice. Uh, Mushy Truffle is worth more carryover than a need charge, right? Need a charge is two, this is six. It's Vi, so... There's no way they should have played the card there. This also is... Uh, <laughs> maybe makes them more likely to push. They've had a stinker, mate. <laughs> I mean, I've got carryover. I, I just want to push, right? If I've got this amount of carryover, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Easy to own, mate, right? So, I want to play the smoke them out. My main assault target here is quite possibly an envoy, unironically. Just get like vengeance in hand and whatnot for round three. So, maybe just go assault for the envoy first. Because that also sets up my smoke them out, right? Although, I guess this also. I just needed something to play first. Did they only play one Vi? Cheat. Oh, maybe that's not what you mean. Uh, I mean... This is often what you want to do against fires, just play till the haunt is, but my hand is just so good, I just don't care enough. To consider passing her. Hand is actually super OP, man. I mean, I could still but obviously I still have the Scytheman. Sure, we're just going for it. Easy 2-0, mate. If we don't get the 2-0, we're in trouble. I'm not worried. But this is a big problem with Scythemen as well. Like, my Revenants are competing for value with my Scythemen now, right? Which kind of sucks. It really sucks. Okay, then they're actually not competing for value with my Scythemen. Just let me get this consumer. Like, that's just it, right? You can't do that with Flipping Uprising. You just can't. 
right? It's just not an option. That's what you need with Visigod. You need to be able to dump him as and when you need him. You don't want to float him on the board, wait a turn. You just want him to come in and clean up. You get me? That's exactly what you need. You don't want him to put him on the board and him die. You don't want to wait a turn. You just want him to come in and clean the hell up. That's it. Okay, we can't kill this, but it doesn't really matter that much. I think it's worth saving a leader charge. But this leader charge is worth what? Four points? I don't think I do lose though if I pass here. I, I still have vengeance on top of my deck. Maybe I do though. Vengeance can probably trade with the Vi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But yeah, as you can see, PT for value. So if I lose by 4 points, I could have 4 more points. If I used the leader earlier. have a leader charge still as well so we actually would have won exactly if i used the leader charge when i said fuck me i overstayed my welcome pretty significantly here. i found the line to lose right like if they have three visors just lose we know they have a nero mancy i think i might have thrown the game this is how you lose If we hit Reynard, maybe we've got a chance. Nah, we've just had a stinker, mate, haven't we? I literally threw the game. All it took was a leader charge and I had it. Probably could have just done some maths on it as well, although Villem. No, it was four points. That's pretty exciting. This doesn't actually trigger them, this unfortunately. I don't believe spawn stuff. Actual loss, guys. What a stinker. I mean, losing to Vi with no tool punishes is not that surprising, but yeah. The reason my leader was worth four points was because each of my Scythemen got two extra points. But you can also see the problem with Scythemen anyway, that they do actually just compete for value with things like your Revenant. What? Are they that con Is that a BM? Did I just get a BM, guys? Nightmare. Yeah, a very fun deck. Really glad the Overwhelming Hunger got changed to have a deck like this in the game. <laughs> very cool. Alright, next game. In you? Apart from chairs. But I mean the fact that Overwhelming Hunger's only got two leader charges. I don't think this guy was abusing, but whatever. But I don't really care. I, my, my biggest problem with Vi is it's just a dumb deck, but at least it's a deck. My problem with it is that it ruined the bloody leader. Just every time you try and play that leader that's not Vi, you think, oh my god, Vi, why did you do this? Why was it not that you, why did our leader get changed just because you fucking suck? Mate? That's the problem.
actually going to mulligan the Sabrina here. Little controversial. How aggressive do we think our opponent's going to be? The Revenant honestly would have been a nice opening play because then I could have gone down snack. Whatever it's called. Let's stop slow. Please, just a Wager I can cast run with me foot. This is going to be a fun game, guys. This card's very fun. This card's fine. But, uh... The accompanying cards, not so much alumni. I mean, why would you not play these cards when you can get nerfed, right? Like, look how fucking power crap these cards are. It's actually crazy, man. I don't understand, honestly. I am getting quite fed up with uh, the state of the game quite quickly already. It's a shame, man. It's just a bit of a shame. Let's go though, Lyrian Landsnack. Does Reyna boost Sabrina? Oh, uh, good question. <laughs> Very good question. <laughs> Probably. So, shall we warm up with fire spell? <laughs> Which is a little unfortunate. Glad you uh, pointed that possibility out though. They're going to want to keep these on the board, right? squirrel then I didn't want to break my vengeance so nice so, so we just go as long as our vengeance survives here we go squirrel plus a meditating mage so in fact we did they put did we put a meditating mage on top I forgot to click this I had the option to put it actually would have been really big brain to put meditating mage on top right Now another nice thing about this leader, guys. Is you can use it for carryover. So they have five damage, seven boost. We end 
into the fray. No, Sabrina's kind of sad. We could assault for her. We actually could, she only boosts by, what, one now? My lords, to your banners! Like, I think Meditating Mages are pretty fun in this situation, right? I'm glad they got Nerf still, because they're still good. It's just the, the all-in deck I hate. Uh, I also like these cards. But as soon as you print alumni, I bloody fucking hate them. And this card's just OP. It's the whole reason I'm using this leader ability. Oh, could slam jam the Meave. Not 100% sure, to be honest. Oh, Sabrina's going to be We're most likely going to take this cigar. I think we maybe just take a 2.0 on this. So we don't want to take up board space. Ah, maybe we don't care. Again, you couldn't do this last play with the leader that shall not be named. Surprising. It's not a real leader, guys. Ooh. I wonder if he counts himself. I could do the maths in the chat if you don't mind. What a lad! Just get destroyed, mate. It's as simple as that. Don't mess with me, boy. But, like, just look at the leader value, mate. I got flipping Visigurd and I got a bloody vengeance this game. It's just so worth it. And we got carryover. You can use it on revenants. You can use it to buff me still. Just superior. Will Meave go again? She will not. Fortunately. We might still lose because Alumni is a, uh, a card that exists for some reason. Does anybody know why it still exists? Does anyone... Oh, I just flipping hate it, man. Whoa, boy! 
Natasha sobbing, so uh, rude, but whatever. Uh, she's a counter. Cricket? Nah, I'm not really a cricket kind of guy, mate. I might watch it if my dad's watching for a bit. Who's playing? Hey, Thea, what's up? Thea Ballon, not Thea Beastie. Is it ashes? Nice tomorrow. Got ya. Gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna probably stream for a while tomorrow. Sunday. Uh, I think I'm going into London. Halloween. Which would be nice. See some friends. I could have played around that. Not bad, mate. Four provision cards trading for heat waves and whatever else. We're gonna try again, mate. I've got more blood. Can't bear with me just yet. Oh! Pass, just keep all our golds, keep our carryover. We're six behind, it's a lot of points. No one needs to salt, I can't play this. I think it's actually a pass. Usually five is a better pass. Galmar, I guess. Yeah, it might be a bit of an uphill battle for them. She's odd as well, right? They didn't click Marshall Truffle, which would suggest they're not going to pass on us, sir. Um, I guess we go Revenant. Is my feeling. It's just like the most points. We could also go for the old Vengeance. Considering they might play Squirrel, I kind of don't hate the Vengeance over there. It hasn't backfired yet. That's a lot of points, guys. So yeah, this is why we didn't... This is why I just decided to go for Vengeance, because... Quite likely to just get disrupted like this. Oh, mate, Trinet, you absolute diamond of a man. What a gentleman. Lovely to see you, mate. I hope you had a good stream. Going pretty well for us over here. 
We were playing Uprising, but then we realized that Uprising equals bad. Just play Vengeance. Yeah. This card's very OP. Uh, but yeah, it's going actually really well for us. We've got a bit of Visigurd action. We've got Zoltan. We've got Meave. We've got Sabrina. We've got it all, mate. Draug. It's not to like. Exactly. Although I am playing uh, Smoke Amounts. I don't know. It's actually really fun though. I played it quite a bit last season. Um, it hasn't actually really changed too much. I'm playing this dude. He got buffed. Yeah, I got a few. <laughs> quite a few. It's hard to argue with that. Uh... I like 20 points down. Nice one on the open as well, mate. I was on holiday, so I didn't get to watch a whole bunch. But I actually watched a fair bit. Enjoyed the cost, mate. Nice one. I like the jacket as well. I mean, we don't really care about Xavier, though. Yeah. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like that. I was playing um, Baba Ugo, whatever he's called, whatever he's called yesterday, trying to. And then I was like, this isn't even worth the click, babe. It's just not. Guys, maths is hard. Yeah, I had uh, whatever he's called. Baba Yaga, I don't know. I feel like it's a pretty famous fairy. It's also in Storm and Brawl, right? And I still don't know what it's called on that either. But alas. Um. Reynard's a bit of a baller. There's actually less points as well to get the points off Reynard as opposed to putting it next to the. Vengeance. Never mind. Well, I guess I just slam jam the Zoltan. We lost on even, as you might have noticed, round one. Please give me a bad card. Thank you so much. But yeah, like, we played Uprising for a few games. Um, see, I guess things different, right? But yeah, I was playing uh, Jaeger yesterday in my, in a, in a vampire deck, in fact. <laughs> vampire Jaeger, and I was like, yep, I'll just put Detlaf on the thumbnail instead. <laughs> After one game. It played for one point, my Jagger. <laughs> oh no, oh no! Oh dear. That is not ideal. I just ordered a new GPU, mate. It just came yesterday, so I'm going to be uh, stalling that probably tomorrow. Very excited for that. Cost me a bloody arm and a leg. Yeah, at least we drew the PFI. I was a little bit nervous we weren't going to. They have Hjalmar still available. They used Heatwave, uh, Decoction, Double Gutting Slash, Leader Charges on my Meditating Mages round one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sad how much it cost me, honestly. Had to be done. Is there any reason to open with Meave? Well, I'm gonna go PFI, Draug, then Meave. 
actually go through. PF well, if I go, if I open PF5, they just die to leader anyway, right? If I go me first, she's gonna die to Junod unless I double leader charge her, which means my Visigur dies. So I'm kind of just completely flipping screwed no matter what I do. I guess I could open Draug. That also then dies to Junod, but it does the leader charge Bear Witcher in fact. No, it doesn't. I mean, maybe it's just an ironic opening Draug. Right, Draug. Because if I if I go PF5 first, not only do I lose the the revenants, but I also lose the swamp pale for it. Whereas at least here I disperse the lot more. This is significantly better, right? And we still get Meave through. And we don't lose as many. One extra hit could have been Hitting our uh, point revenant. Unfortunately, probably still gonna lose. Because Flurry just abused the coin. What are you gonna do? Eh? Valyria and Livia! For the north! This Visigard is popping off, guys. Holy moly. This Meave is too, man. How could we lose? Don't do it! Don't. Please don't do it, man. Please. Thank you. Is it a Visigurd motive? What's actually better here? So if I go Visigurd, I pop the shield, right? But then I'm only getting one Revenant. I guess Fukushu would wreck us, yeah. Troll. It was quite possibly bad to just leave a charge on this. But I think I just need every point I can get. Obviously, if this dies, I lose. Comes down to rain! Oh, and Coral's here too. Yeah, I should have just left a single charge on this, right? Oh! Well, I mean, we were losing anyway. Very fun fucking game, but I had a great time. My opponent just won the coin flip, just slammed a bunch of cards, and I lost. Very fun. I had a great time. Why not kill Geralt and then Sabrina? Because I was maximizing points. Because I was going to lose even if I maximize points. Hooray! Woo! I know you're in Woo! I can help. Oh my god, guys. That's flipping go. I'm still going first, but whatever. It's not Flurry. I just don't care. Might be the world's worst matchup for all I know, but it's not Flurry. That's all that matters. Just side them. There are things in the universe of which even the sages have not dreamt. GG, mate. Very fun game. I had a great time. Let's do it again sometime, yeah? One? No way. Not a chance, mate. They had two more cards than me and I was playing two PFIs. Not possible.
Quen and Sage bricked. I don't believe you. You're just, you're just trolling me. I don't want to believe you. How are we playing against the Master of Puppets now? What is going on today? It's all just going wrong, mate, innit? Pass guys. Except we lose on even, but we have carryover. Because they probably just want to play the Master of Puppets. Click it anyway. They're going to get tempted into doing it. I don't think it's correct to do so. They couldn't resist, mate. Temptation. So we didn't lose on even because they wanted three carrier incentives. Scores bad because they already queued. Um. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? Oh! Oh! What a player. You dirty tart. Gave up card advantage. <laughs> okay. If we lose, something's gone very, very, very wrong. This. There's no coups left, right? So. Miss Sultan, it's sort of not the end of the world. Um. Exceptional. Her Majesty is exceptional. Are we up against the Masquerade Ball Game though? Someone called it earlier, I think. So there's going to be an Invo.
curious case. Please wait your excellency. Falling behind. For the king! We retreat! We hide! So much of respect! Vengeance is a pretty good card, I would say. I'm surprised we haven't seen an info yet. I guess we'll try an Eve next. Can they even kill it though, chat? That's the big question, isn't it, really? Probably. They probably can. What happens if we... I think if we Revenant it, it dies, right? We'd have to lead a charge to the Revenant, which is fine. Wait, how does it work? Like, just, is this Revenant going to kill itself? Can't do too much about it. I thought that was what would happen, but it's better to do it now and we can start recycling. Oh, that's quite scary. That's not great, is it? That ain't great, mate. You fine, fine lady. They're going to dump the Draug, right? With uh, the leader. And I'm just going to come through with the old Sabrina to clean up. Here he comes. Complete destruction. Uh, winch would just be for vengeance, right? You could play a winch for vengeance. So. You can use it on Envoy, but it doesn't work for me. For it. They can actually kind of fist us, though, with these. They were supposed to steal something from the back. They don't actually move. See, if you don't lose on even, this deck's pretty good. Just don't keep bloody reckless flurry. 